look at me you're a man of god here or you're listening following online let me challenge you the primary assignment of the minister of a minister of the gospel as far as building believers or as far as church growth is concerned is not only salvation but discipleship without discipleship believers cannot mature discipleship is not inculcating a denomination's perspective no discipleship is the system of mentorship you use the course content called doctrine to mentor believers a methodical approach to spiritual growth there are many ways to learn how to drive you can steal a car and quickly be you know when your parents go out you carry the car and freelance that is that is a back door way to drive there will be many side effects you can move the car but you will know the things you don't know the day you enter the road but there's someone who will go to maybe a school of driving are we together yes and be taught properly sometimes the person who even goes to the school of driving he already can drive so he will go with pride and the first lecture will humble him they will not even talk about driving the first lecture they will talk about the territory where he is first and he will feel bad for his friend who is moving around believing he's an expert driver there are many expert drivers that were not taught well they drove well for 10 years and the mistake they did not learn killed them in the 11th year this is how many believers are you can sit on your own and learn anything you want to learn oh i saw this book by gloria copland god's will is prosperity i've learned it beautiful now i know everything about prosperity they didn't tell you there are attacks that come with every realm they didn't tell you that money this money you see there is a spirit behind it if a circumcision has not happened to you it will tear you into pieces then you find one book on prayer and fasting i'm not saying these things are wrong but you just while you are studying on prosperity you just halt and just look to three or four pages on prayer and fasting then you learn something then you listen to a sermon you stumble across a sermon on youtube about maybe spiritual growth and then maybe you attend a conference somewhere and after five years you stand and say i'm mature do you know something about finance yes do you know something about character yes do you know something about spiritual growth yes and you dare to tread you step in believing you are equipped that's when you will see the gaps in your knowledge when demons look at you you are full of zeal with gaps gaps everywhere that can be used against you but when he builds you when he builds you you will be so formidable the bible says listen to me the bible says that barak was called listen to me that he was called to go and cause um what was that what was that scripture now numbers right yes to go and cause the nation of israel and they saw a formation in the midst of them the ark being at the center and they did not have to go and say you are causing us you keep doing what you are doing our focus is our own formation and he cost and cost and cost and said this is not possible because the shout of a king is in the midst of them there is a way your life can be so full of the glory and the grace of God you will live as if you are not a normal human being on earth you see if you don't contend for transformation and empowerment you may never understand these dimensions and you will not appreciate them you will not even believe they exist you will just think this is just church Pentecostals talking nonsense There is no other way to excel in this kingdom. What I am sharing with you is not an opinion. God made it possible for all of us to have Bibles. Look at me. You know, sometimes we men of God, sometimes we talk and act as though God called us in private and just gave us something that can never be available. The scripture is there. And that from a child, thou hast known the Holy Scripture, which is able to make you wise unto salvation. That means the truth of the kingdom can be found in scripture your prosperity your increase every question you truly ask and desire an answer for 
there can be an answer in scripture for it why am i not making progress there is an answer why am i not excelling there is an answer why is my knowledge of god unfruitful there is an answer but the seed for an answer is a question it is only he that seeks that finds listen you can continue to allow your days to just leave itself like kicking a car putting it on gear and allow it to drive itself hoping that one day your life will drive itself into a beautiful prophetic destiny or you can make up your mind tonight to take responsibility there is a relationship between authority and responsibility and say i'm going to drive my life with intention and not feel guilty while you are laboriously studying the various facets of life and the kingdom that will make you excel because sometimes you can be studying on finances for instance and people and your sociological context can make you feel guilty there are many more serious things to study why what are you doing with issue of finance that may be where you are with the holy ghost but society can make you feel guilty and you give up on it and say let me just focus on prayer or this no no every dimension of the kingdom required for your growth is important you ignore it you will pay for it when i started out with god because of the dramatic nature of my call and the way god started out with me we didn't pay attention to other things other administration excellence finance no 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 no. it was the holy ghost in fact it was purpose i started out with purpose dr miles monroe purpose thoroughly understood purpose how that you serve your generation with the gift that god has given you in your gift is your prosperity in your gift is your relevance in your gift is your fulfillment ah i learned that from him then came this series of encounters by the holy ghost i did not leave the issue of purpose but i just stayed and it was like a well that i could never exhaust what is this new dimension visions encounters angels revelations of scripture but then i remember i was so i was so much in it had god left me that way i would be suffering today because i would stay there the way i was so into this thing i'm not sure that i had interest to look at any other aspect i didn't believe based on my encounter that there would be need to study any other aspect because it looked real it looked like once you have him you have everything i was right but i was wrong it was the holy ghost himself who gave me a vision this was 2007 i had an encounter and then he opened me to other dimensions and said in as much as the richness of my encounter is there but there are other the systemic nature the human body if you study only the digestive system there are other systems and they all are important to make that organism function well and then I painfully began to open up to other aspects. I felt guilty, especially aspects of finance. I felt carnal. I felt unserious. What is all this thing now? I just felt that I need the richness of my fellowship. Where that cloud of his glory would come and cover me. What is all these pointless things? And then to make matters worse, the books I bought on finance, I thought they would just tell me the business they were doing to prosper. Straight to the point. They were talking about mindsets, behavior. I said, you people are wicked and evil people. Just tell us what you are doing. How foolish I was. I didn't know that success is not what you pursue. It's what you attract by who you become. They were teaching how to become and I was rejecting it and yet intending to become but thank God for the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost stayed there God is delivering someone right now because God is telling you you have three years left to your time of manifestation and there are many other dimensions you have not learned it is two years left before the work of ministry God gave you you are about to start hold on please help them please you have your timing spiritually but there are other aspects you have not learned do you know prayer yes sir 
Do you know how to fast? Yes, sir. Do you know fasting? Yes, sir. What else? Nothing else. Ha. You must contend with speed with the Holy Ghost to learn these other aspects. What else was Jesus teaching them? They had lectures every day. And yet when he resurrected, he said, guys, I'm not done with you. Even though Jesus was a lecturer, he knew that there were other things they had not learned. So you carry that lopsided knowledge and start a ministry. And because of miracles, watch this, and prophecy, you find out that fire is falling. Everyone is coming. Oh, there's a new man of God in town. Signs and wonders are happening because you see, everything new, people like it. Whether they don't believe it, they just come to watch what's going on here. And so you think they are coming means they are going to stay. They will just come and look around. Oh, I hear that there's a new man of God. There's this, there's that going on. And then you are happy believing that everything is done. <laughs> And then the moment the ministry starts increasing, now the question of leadership comes in. You go back to your archives. You were not there when the Holy Ghost was teaching on leadership. Now you are confused. You don't know what to do. What of administration? It's not part of my lecture. You ignored it. You laughed at those who carried that grace. Now where you use your room, your house, outside is too small. You need to go and rent a venue. And they tell you you pay well I don't maybe, maybe it's, it's not very much but I'm just giving an example and you find out that even probably you were working and all your salary for five years will not pay that place for one year you go back to the Holy Ghost you are still anointed though but the lectures you ignored is now telling on you you didn't learn how to balance ministry and your children and after five months of ministry you find out that you've not even seen your children your family is going down while you are preaching because these other aspects you were not taught now psychophants begin to come to the ministry and you have not been trained in discernment to identify them attacks begin to come on account of the word and the mantle you have if you are elijah get ready for jezebel she will come Then you do not know how anointed people sustain their fire because you only learned how the anointing comes. You don't let you didn't learn how it is maintained. You were focused on how it comes, so you got it. But how is it maintained? And you find out that you are feeling as if you are sick. You go to the hospital, they say nothing is wrong, and yet you know you are not fine. What is the name of what is wrong with me? By that time, you're already a general overseer. You don't know what to do you travel for three ministrations and fall on the stage there because you don't know that there is a technique to maintaining this grace look at what was on moses one man had that spirit and yet he was quiet part of it fell on 70 people none of them could stand from morning till night yet that all of that was in one man oh i want to be anointed are you sure do you want that grace do you have that grace The greatest need of an empowered believer is character and humility.